know, my team, they were ready, ready to play. Again, dangerous team. I think Sessoms is fourth leading scorer in the country, and he's given us problems his, his whole career. So I think we held him to a season low. I think that was an awesome job by everybody involved. But, you know, what I'm most proud of is offensive rebounds and, and our assist total. You know, he's got seven assists, eight assists right here. These two guys shared the ball. You know, our defense has been good and continues to be good. Um, you know, so it was a good win. We got a lot ahead of us now, uh, heading into league play. Uh, it's never easy in this conference, but uh, these guys, is, you know, these guys are, are playing good basketball. I'm real pleased. Right here. Deep 30 assists is the program's most since 1992 in the game. Uh, have you ever had a team have 30 assists on 34 baskets? That's a huge number. Yeah, huge number. I can't say. I don't think I've ever had it, you know. And they had 17 in the first half. They were really sharing the ball. And you got a thousandth a point tonight, too. And congratulate, you know, Cam. That's awesome accomplishment. But, yeah, 30 assists. And everyone, you know, everyone contributed in the assist department. And, you know, it was a good way to play. It's a fun way to play. You're beating low major teams by 31.1 points this season. I think seven games against them. Uh, is there an emphasis at all in that because of how the net tracks? No, no, I don't like, you know, we just play and get ready for the games. You know, these guys know I don't spend any time on, you know, we play, we get ready to play. These are all good teams. Um, that team scored 107 points. So, you know, I don't worry about that. You guys, it's good for you guys to talk about, you know, there's nothing to do with anything according to me. So yeah, it's not, you know, we, we just play and we play hard and trying to get these guys, you know, ready, you know, for what's ahead. Um, you got you played an eight-man rotation until about the last five minutes of the game. Seems like you've been doing that a decent amount this season, which is different than what you've normally done. Is there a reason? No, I actually played five-man last year, so we didn't really go into it. We got a good bench, you know. I trust my guys on the bench, and you know, I'm very excited about you know the roster, you know, as a whole. But you know, we get in a good groove with, with guys, and, and I liked how we're sharing the ball, and you know, so. You know, it doesn't eight man, nine man Dean be ready to go. You know, those guys are good. Jalen's ready to go. So, you know, we've been fortunate. We've been healthy. Guys came back. We didn't have foul trouble tonight. And that's, you know, but those guys will be ready to go whenever we need them. Caleb, you, you came very close to getting a triple double. Did, do you have any idea that you were that close? Nine points, 11 rebounds, eight assists? Yeah, um, before, I, before I was coming out, I definitely looked up and, and, and I seen it. So, yeah, I, I was aware. Rutgers has had a triple double. Forty. It was uh, uh, what's that? Roy Hinson, right? Who played in the NBA for like ten years? Okay. Um, does, I mean, does that just out of curiosity? Does that mean anything to you that you're that close to that that, that close to making uh, history like that? No, definitely been cool to get, but I'm just glad we got the win. Okay. And Cam, you, you scored your thousandth point again. It's just a number, but it is a significant collegiate milestone. What's it like for you to do that here in this environment? Big time. Yeah, it was cool. Um. Just really a lot of credit to my teammates and all the coaches that have helped me get there. Um, it's not really a focus, but it's a, a cool accomplishment. But I'm focused on on winning as a team and the team goals. Brad, I guess, Caleb, what did you think of Cam Hedden getting his 1,000 point? <laughs> that's a cool accomplishment, man. Um, I'm pretty sure that's every uh, college player's dream. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure they everyone wants to cross that off the list. And um, I'm just excited for them. And I'm, and I'm happy. So. Caleb's next. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'm next. No, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I know, I know I'm close, so we'll, we'll see. Good, uh, Steve, just big, big picture. Where do you think of where your team is at now that you have, you're heading into the portion of the schedule with 18 straight Big Ten games? Yeah, I mean, I like we're healthy. I like that, and I like that we're getting better. You know, so uh, challenges ahead. And keep, I like this team a lot. And uh, you know, I'm thankful for the crowd, too, today. They, they made a big difference. They were into it from the jump. We'll go to Purdue. Again, tough place to play. Undefeated team is only a couple in the country. Well coached and, and a real tough place to play. But we, we're no strangers to tough schedules and tough starts to the season. So you got to go there and play great basketball, obviously. Can we talk about Purdue so we don't have to bother you on New Year's Day? Yeah, you can talk to me about it. <laughs> anything right, you good. want. Uh, I'm, I know you haven't probably haven't studied them yet, but if you've seen them, you know of them. What do you think of the, of the job Matt Painter's done and the challenge of Zach Eady? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was there last year, so it's not like a new challenge. He was awesome, and they had Travion Williams, who's an All-American. So they always have great big guys. Matt Painter is one of the best coaches in the country, and uh, they're always good. So since I've been in the league, Purdue has you know, been a really difficult team. 
well coached, talented guys, and uh, you know, hard place to play. So it's no different this year. Um, and they always find those seven foot five guys walking around. I've noticed over the years you've been particularly effective at, at uh, defending a really good big on another team, even before this personnel, your, your whole time here. Is there anything that's, that's key to that, to doing that when you have a really good big? And there's a lot of them in the, in the Big Ten. There's so many in the Big Ten, you know, that you better be uh, proficient in defending, you know, bigs in this league. And they come in all shapes and sizes, and they're all talented, and they're all different in the challenges that they pose. He certainly done an unbelievable job of developing. He's huge, so he poses a huge problem. But Kofi Colburn, I mean, last year, Travion Williams, I mean, they're problems. They're problems. They're good players. And, um, you know, you can never stop those guys. You just got to hope you can contain them and do a great job. And, uh, you know, I think our big guy's pretty good, too. I think I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask anyway. Uh, Purdue's probably going to be the number one team in the country when you go there on Monday. You obviously beat them when they were number one last year. Does that mean anything to you that your team has a chance of beating number one? Yeah, no, I mean, it's just a Big Ten game. And, you know, they're a good team. And then the next team we play is good. And, you know, I don't know how many are ranked right now. you are six. Five. Five, probably should be seven, but uh, I understand that. Um, you know, but yeah, it's just a great league and the challenges come and, you know, and we'll play a lot of ranked teams before the year's out. It's the joys of playing in the Big Ten. What's what's Mackey like? I mean, you have a great home court here. People talk about their home court there. What is it like as a home court? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone in the league pretty much says it's, it's the toughest, you know, place to play. They're all tough in their own ways. I mean, they have a great fan base. They've been very successful. You know, it's loud. Um, they'll be there, and, and they're the number one team in the country. So, you know, it's going to be no different than it's been. They, we've been there before when they were top, you know, five, top ten. I mean, every year we go there, they're ranked. Throughout. So, uh, it'll be. It's a tough, challenging environment. Difficulty of teams go up, but the speed of these games go up too. I think you play three games in the next seven days or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. How important was this, these two weeks of having not a break, but having some time off to kind of? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, we're all healthy, so you know that's really helped. And guys were banged up, you know. So now you got a stretch here where you really got to take care of their bodies, and now you're jumping on planes and you're adding a whole different element. But um, you know, the challenges are physical, they're mental, they're film. They're, there's a lot of challenges that come up. But this group has fought through a lot of challenges and. You know, we'll continue to do that. How much does it help, Steve, having a veteran team when you have to go into a place like, like Mackey or any of these Big Ten arenas, but we're not, while we're talking about Purdue, you have guys who've been there before, who've played there before. What does that mean? I think it's huge. I mean, these guys share their stories already with Derek Simpson and Wolf and, and those guys. So, um, you know, you have veteran guys, and, and they kind of know what it brings, and they know the opposing team is going to be counting down the shot clock, you know, seven seconds before it. So, you know, we've been there, we've done that, and these guys will share those those stories. But they also know how, you know, challenging these places are. So you got to come with your A game, and you're going to be prepared. But veterans, I mean, I think anyone will tell you. And there's more veterans now in college basketball than ever with the COVID and the six years and, the, and all the stuff. So every team has gotten older. And, you know, Purdue's got guys that, you know, have been around. Is that you a good know. thing for the game, you think, Steve, just speaking generally? I mean, you know, I wish I was 25 playing college basketball, <laughs> you know. So, but yeah, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. So those are the challenges. COVID brought some of them, new rule changes. But, you know, I, I don't, I, you know, I don't know. You know, I like our veterans. I like our mix, veterans with the young guys. I really do. I think that's healthy for a team and a program. But, um, you know, I've never been old like that, you know, and, and I've never had a program that was old like, like a lot of mine. Good. So, yeah. Thank you. Listen, I appreciate it, guys. Happy, yes. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Appreciate you guys.